Okay, before we go on, I want to I want to fix one thing. Um, I'm seeing a lot of sort of plateaus and pits and things in this, and that's just because the the, the uh, my two ocean textures or my two ocean uh, deformations aren't really mixing together like I'd like. So um, I'm going to go over to the modifier stack and just look at my vertex weight edits and and move the default weight up to 0.95 on both of those you'll see that start to sort of go away 0.95 yeah I mean it's not perfect but uh, I think it'll be, I think it'll work fine um, what I would really love is just to have perfect perfect mixing with with the weight the weight edits and I you know have some reds and blues in there but I don't think that's gonna work so um, all right now on to the next thing before we go on to working with flip fluids what I wanted to do was run a quick animation so to do that um, I have I have this camera still sitting up 15 meters above the ocean surface I think I'm gonna leave it just so that we can see what it looks like and see uh, how much actual sort of uh, stripey tiling kind of stuff that we see. Um, see how much of that that we'll, we'll be able to perceive with the animation. So um, I'm going to go ahead and click right click on my ocean and then I'll shift right click on my camera and control P. All right. And uh, one thing first before we do anything else I wanted to show you how to put in an HDRI image and it's just it's really really easy um, my um, my world here is a mess because of all my add-ons so let's just get rid of everything except this one and this one I'm gonna hit control I and delete alright so what I did was I went and downloaded Greg Zoll's uh, Flower Road 4K H HDR image. So um, let's go ahead and add a background texture. Um, oh, environment texture, sorry. Background input. All right. And also I'm going to hit Control T here. Um, just so that we can kind of play with it. Um, before, oh, wait. Okay, so here we go. Um, textures, Flower Road. All right. I'm going to click on N now and open up my right side toolbar and look at uh, Display, World Background. And there it is. Okay. Now, the one thing that will you'll notice is that I that you've already noticed is that uh, I tend to not use my background. It gets in my way sometimes. So, um, back to the camera. Let's see. Film. Turn off the transparent. All right. There we go. We've got a sky. If I wanted to, I guess you know. I uh, okay. So you can adjust this. You can move. Um, hang on. the z-axis but also you can kind of um, move your horizon line down a little bit so that all you see is sky boy that would be kind of neat for me actually oh there's mountains um, that almost looks like an island in the distance uh, point Zero two. Okay, there's some trees. Point zero three. They don't bother me so much. It kind of looks like um, you know trees over the horizon line. Uh, we'll see what it looks like. Um, I'm gonna switch this back to zero. Okay, and then also um, that was kind of fun. I would like to do this uh, because in any in most scenes in real life you have some a little bit of haze so let's add 
some of that and to turn on that I need actually um, the other word for it would be mist so I'm going to I turn on my mist layer in the in the passes okay and I'm going to come over here to the world um, where the mist passed has showed up mist pass has shown up um, and then I'm going to set depth to like 15 I wonder Let's try 2,000. I hate to do this. This is experimental on my part. This is not, um, I didn't really prepare this. I, I tried 1,000 before it came out looking okay, but for fun, I'd like to try 2,000. So now, oh, before I do anything else, I'm going to select the camera. I'm going to come over here. Um, I want to see my limits and my mist. I'm going to set focus out to like 80 meters and then adjust my radius size to like 0 0.05 so that oh what happened point what oh distance 80 there we go so um yeah actually that doesn't this part I prepared that looks okay that looks okay we might go 0 0.03 I just want it to be a little bit more blurry and not so quite so sharp out there I don't see I see barely any pattern at all. Maybe a little bit. Yeah, I can't see anything. That's really cool. Okay. So, um, very nice. Let's run one render, one frame here. And I just want to go over to my render layers. And then let's just sort of put that mist in. Let's see here, color, mix, and move that mist over to the factor, and there is the mist, but it doesn't look too good yet. So let's add a color ramp converter. Ah, come on, color ramp, and hook it up to the mist pass. And I wonder. Okay, so if you adjust, oh, if you adjust these, look at that. Um, oh, look at that. It's not bad. All right, let's let's try it. Now I'm worrying. That's not bad. I could move the mist a little bit closer. That's really cool. Okay, that's too fun to play with. Um, I think we're ready to render out an animation, and to do that, I'm going to actually get out of this is um, this is the daily build. This is Blender 2.79 daily build, and it is not as stable actually as Blender 2.278. Um, for rendering. So what I'm going to do is save as and I have already saved um, Ocean Tut 6-2.8. Um, I'm going to save over that file and then um, let's open up Windows 2.8. There it is. Not very nice. Ooh, and look at that. Um, of course, I've already opened that once, so let's open it again and start rendering. I hope this works. Oh, crap. Okay, so I forgot. <laughs> I want to animate the camera. So let's go back. Um, okay. Before we do anything else, let's turn off the, the world background. Um, okay, cool. I can rotate it. Um, I Let's see. We're on frame 10, so let's go back to frame 1. Insert a rotation. And then uh, go to frame 250. 
I'm going to actually render out 250 frames. Um, yeah, I still see a little bit of uh, pitting and, and um, plateauing or whatever, and it's, uh, it's not terrible, so let's just leave it. Okay, rotate 45 degrees. Yeah, there it is, there it is. Too sharp, too sharp. Um, insert. Rotation. Cool. Go back to the beginning. Save. And then bring up, again, Windows 2.8. and control and F12. Let's see what comes up. So here I'm, for some odd reason, I'm seeing a little bit of the pattern more than I did before, and I'm not sure if that's because of how 2.8 renders. I suspect it's not. I think maybe um, it was there before I just wasn't spotting it. Still looks pretty good. Alright, so I'm gonna render out all 250 frames. Um, we could just render like a hundred but I'm not gonna worry about that and I'm gonna pause the recording at this point. Well, okay, so I made a mistake. Um, I forgot to put an output, so let's do that right now. Um, <laughs> it's all going to the temporary file, and I don't want to do that. I think, yeah, I think it's all going to temporary. So I want to uh, set up a frames folder right in the folder where I've saved um, my files. Um, I need to make sure, where did I save? Okay, this is saved into the same place, the tutorial ocean. Okay. Um, all right, there we go, and that will save right into a folder right with all my other files. So, okay, control F12, we're just starting over again. And first frame and pause recording. Okay, um, while this is, I, I just um, actually stopped my rendering again because I noticed my images were coming out kind of um, noisy and I had forgotten that I sent my render down all the way to 10. Um, I just uh, got into, but let's see here, here and sampling and then I reset that to 100 so just FYI to get a better image of course and then also I'm not sure where denoising is on this on the uh, blender 2.8. There it is. Um, I do have denoising checked and that's, I just use the default settings. So, pausing recording again. Okay, um, well there it is. There's the animation. It looks pretty good. There's a little bit of tiling but I'm very happy with it. So next time um, we'll start working with flip fluids and then after that we'll combine the two.